what's at the base of reality? What is the fundamental nature of everything around me? And where did we come from? And where are we going? And, and how do we fit into this big cosmic picture? I really got into astrophysics through the big questions, you know. I was always fascinated by black holes and the Big Bang and these questions of what is the universe made of and how does it all work. I was a tinkerer, you know, I would take things apart and put them back together. I wanted to understand the fundamental workings of everything around me and that just grew to encompass the entire universe. You know, I used to think it was about we're gonna find the ultimate truth of the universe. And I don't know if that's even possible. Um, and there's no way to really test that. But what we can do is we can come up with new models, new mathematical explanations for the universe and get closer to something that gives us a real connection. There's, there's a whole universe to explore, right? And there are so many different areas you can work on. Because I know a little bit about this topic and I know a little bit about this topic, maybe I can see a connection where other people haven't seen that connection. And that might be connecting some ob obscure thing in particle physics with what the new radio telescope is going to show us. That's what I get uh, really excited about and, and that's the place where I feel like that creativity can be really useful. Every bit of data we get, every new refinement of theory is getting closer to some idea of the universe. And we may never get to a full understanding, but what we're trying to do is come up with theories, models that are more and more useful, more predictive, uh, that tell us something that we can apply to our understanding of the universe. What I want to talk about tonight is about what we know about the beginning of the universe and how that connects to the structure of the universe we live in today and then how we're using that to learn about the end of the universe and the different possibilities for the end of the universe. So I, I really want to kind of tell the most interesting bits of that whole story. So there's some, some really intriguing connections between the, the tiniest physics, you know, particle physics in the very early universe and what we see around us in the cosmos today. And there are some really intriguing connections between particle physics and what ways that the universe might end in the future. So there's always going to be uncertainty. There's always going to be uh, areas where we think we have some control, but actually something could happen at any moment that could be, you know, life changing. So I, I try to help people to understand that, you know, we are part of this bigger cosmic story and that it's all about change, it's all about evolution, and, you know, we kind of have to accept that we are just kind of going along for the ride on that and try and find meaning where we can.